It's Pride Month. Kick-ass facts about pride and LGBTQIA+. Pew, pew, pew. In 1924, Henry Gerber, a German immigrant, founded the Society for Human Rights in Chicago. It was the first group to campaign for gay rights in the United States. In 1955, a group of women, including Del Martin and Phyllis Lyon, founded the Daughters of Belitis in San Francisco, which emerged as the first lesbian rights group in the United States. Pride Day, or Pride March, refers to celebrations that typically take place in June that commemorate the Stonewall Inn riots of June 28, 1969. These riots are considered to be the birth of the modern gay civil rights movement. However, in May 1959, a group of LGBTQIA plus individuals who were fed up with being mistreated by the police fought back at Cooper Donuts in Los Angeles. The group, which was led by several transgender women, pelted officers with donuts, coffee, and paper plates until they were forced to retreat and come back with larger numbers. It is believed to be the first documented LGBTQIA plus uprising in U.S. history. The rainbow flag first appeared in 1978. Harvey Milk, the openly gay San Francisco city supervisor, tasked artist activist Gilbert Baker with creating a symbol for the gay community to use in place of the pink triangle. The pink triangle was used in Nazi Germany. They forced gay men to wear them. Research suggests that the age of coming out has been dropping in recent years. Increased access to information and wider availability of support services have provided greater opportunities for self-affirmation and socialization. The term closet refers to the confining state of being secretive about one's homosexuality. The word cannot be found in lesbian and gay literature before 1960 and probably wasn't used before then. Records of same-sex relationships have been found in nearly every culture throughout history with varying degrees of acceptance. Historians note that in some cultures, homosexual behavior was not viewed as effeminate, but was evidence of a man's masculinity. Examples include the Celtic and Greek cultures. Researchers have found that the length of a lesbian's index finger in relation to the ring finger is closer to the male ratio than straight females. Men tend to have shorter index fingers in relation to their ring fingers. In women, the lengths are about the same. Well, the lesbians check in their hands. Studies have shown that gay men have more feminized patterns for certain cognitive tasks, such as spatial perception and remembering where objects are placed. Studies have shown masculinized results for lesbians in inner ear functions and eye blinking reactions to loud noises. In 2005, Swedish researchers found that when straight men smelled a female urine compound, their hypothalamus lit up in brain images. In gay men, it did not. Instead, homosexual men's hypothalamus lit up when they smelled the male sweat compound, which was the same way that straight, straight women responded. In 1629, the Virginia court recorded the first instance of gender ambiguity among the American colonists. A servant named Thomas Thomasine Hall is officially declared by the governor to be both a man and woman and ordered to wear articles of each sex's clothing. Happy Pride, everybody.